Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein revealed this morning he has lymphoma. In a memo to employees, Mr. Blankfein said in part, quote, late this summer after several weeks of not feeling well, I underwent a series of tests which culminated in a biopsy last week. After the biopsy, I was told by my doctors I have lymphoma. Fortunately, my form of lymphoma is highly curable and my doctors and my own expectation is that I will be cured. With more on this news, we're joined by WSJ Deputy Banking Editor Aaron Lucchetti. Aaron, thanks for being here. What else has Mr. Blankfein said about his health? Well, he put out an employee memo this morning uh, that also went out as a filing to investors uh, that basically said he was starting treatment for lymphoma and that he was confident and his doctors were confident that he could beat it. And just last week, Mr. Blankfein was at the Viewpoints conference that the Wall Street Journal hosted. You were there as well. Did he show any signs of being sick? None at all. He was very uh, spirited and, and had a very good conversation, uh, took a lot of questions, uh, you know, was in good spirits, uh, you know, even made a few jokes about the uh, Rolling Stone article from a few years ago that uh, that a lot of people remember um, that he was asked about. So he was in very good spirits. Some people thought he looked a little bit thinner than he had in the past, but not in any ways that uh, raised any red flags. Of course, you covered the story when J.P. Morgan CEO James Diamond was diagnosed. He's just released a statement, which we're going to read right now. I wish my friend Lloyd a fast and full recovery. He's blessed with a lot of love and support from family and friends, including me. My thoughts and prayers go out to him and his loved ones. Are you surprised by this? No, it, it's it's uh, it's it's a, a, a you know nice statement from Jamie, but it's also um, to be expected. They know each other very well. They've kind of been through a lot together in the industry, being the two CEOs that took their firms through the financial crisis uh, and, and came out intact. Um, they also have a lot in common now with the with the cancer issue, unfortunately, and and it's a sign for. Um, Lloyd, that there are a lot of people who've, who've gone through this and, and survived and done quite well. In fact, Jamie last year was diagnosed, worked through it, uh, through treatment, uh, took some time here and there and took some duties off, but, but was largely able to stay on top of the firm. Uh, and also Warren Buffett uh, had prostate cancer diagnosed in 2012 and has continued leading uh, Berkshire Hathaway and, and, and has done, you know, what he does and has no, had no sort, sort of uh, foreseeable or sort of on the outside absolutely. obvious uh, problems with running the company. Absolutely. But does this force the question of succession? Indeed. Indeed. It, it's something that companies talk about uh, at board meetings, sort of behind closed doors, but it brings it out in the open. It gets investors asking the question, you know, if you hold this stock and you want to hold it for five years, ten years or longer, uh, you have to be concerned not only about who's running the company today and how they're doing, but also who's next. Uh, how are they being groomed? What's the sort of short-term, long-term plan? And, and, and the company has to be be a little bit more transparent about that in these kinds of situations. And how has the market responded on this news? Uh, well, actually, quite well. Um, you know, I think they took the statement in stride. The the stock opened about uh, in line with other banks, uh, about the same decline as Morgan Stanley, Goldman's closest peer. So uh, investors seem to be uh, confident about Lloyd's health prospects and that uh, Goldman has it under control. Now he's been at the helm for nearly a decade. Mm -hmm. Has there been any conversation about a retirement date ever? No. You know, it, it's it's funny. There has been conversation about it, uh, probably uh, inside and out. Outside. The company has uh, groomed successors both right after Lloyd leaves, if he leaves in the next few years, or if he stays a few years. Uh, he's shown no indication of wanting to leave. He's 61. He could probably do it five or ten more years um, if he wants to. Uh, and if, if performance continues um, to be uh, to the board's satisfaction and investor satisfaction. So he's actually shown no sign of wanting to leave, which has gotten people thinking, well, maybe the successor for Lloyd is someone who's now in their 40s, not uh, someone who's in their 50s. And that kind of back and forth has gone on for a while. Right. Well, we certainly wish him the best and a speedy recovery. Aaron, thank you so much for that. Thanks, Tony.